Avodah Zara Parakol Atzlamim Daf Mem Gimel, sponsored of Shleim of Four Tzipora Bas Malka Peru. We begin with a Mishnah. Mishnah rules regarding found utensils engraved with symbols of the sun, moon, and dragons. Tanakama holds, no matter what utensil was found with these engravings, it is assumed to be worshipped and must be disposed of in the Dead Sea. Rav Shem Gamliel holds only those engraved undignified utensils are assumed worshipped. However, undignified utensils known to be worshipped must also be disposed of in the Dead Sea. Rab explains dignified refers to engravings above the water level, whereas Shmuel explains it refers to jewelry. Question. Bryce has stated one slaughtered an animal for the sake of mountains, seas, angels, or even worms. It was an idolatrous sacrifice. Apparently, idolaters worshipped more things than the sun, moon, and dragons. The answer. Idolaters worshipped everything. However, they only engraved these three symbols specifically for worship. Although any depiction engraved for ornamental purposes may have been worshipped, the Rabbanon prohibited only those certainly worshipped to allow purchases from Gentiles. The Gemara attempts to determine the case discussed in Abraisa. The statements are, number one, depictions of celestial bodies are permitted except the sun and the moon. Number two, Depictions are permitted except those of a human face. Number three, all forms are permitted except the dragon. Question. Number one, if the Brysa discusses making these dis- depictions, a verse states, Lo sasun iti, do not depict anything with me, prohibiting celestial bodies. Therefore, the Brysa refers to one found. Number two, the Brysa's second clause prohibits a depiction of a human face. Our Mishnah permits a found human face, prohibiting only a sun, moon, or dragon. Therefore, the Brysa discusses making depictions. Number three, a verse states, Lo yisasun iti, Elohei chesev v'zav. Do not make what is with me celestial bodies. The answer. Abai answers, in fact, clause one and three refer to finding. Clause Two, to making. Rama answers all refer to finding. The middle clause is Rabbi Yehudu who includes a depiction of a nursing mother representing Chava and Sarafis a depiction of Yosef holding a measure, measuring. Umar defines a dragon prohibited benefit, those with fins between their vertebrae. Rabbi Barbachana relates an incident with Rabbi Lazar Akapar and its halachic consequences. He found a ring with a dragon. A minor idolater passed, but only when an adult passed, he asked him to nullify it. He refused, so he slapped him into compliance. The Gemara concludes three things. Number one, an idolater can nullify another idolater's idol. Number two, only an adult who understands idolatry and its accessories can nullify. Number three, a coerced nullification is valid. Question, why doesn't the loser's despair constitute nullification? The answer, he does not despair of its idol status. An idolater who finds it will worship it. A Jew will sell it. Ram Gamliel used wall and tablet drawings to determine whether witnesses testified accurately about a new moon. Question, how was this permissible? It is a violation of lo sasun et. The answer, Abai explains the verse refers to objects that can be replicated, such as building a house resembling the temple or its utensils, but not celestial bodies that can only be duplicated. Although a Bryce states, Shamoshai HaMashamshim Lefanai Bamarom, it refers to the Chayus HaKodesh, depicting the four faces of the heavenly chariot, except the human face prohibited even by itself, and those Bamador HaElyon in the upper abode. Those in the lower abodes, such as the sun, moon, and stars, are prohibited only with the intent to worship them, as the verse in the Aser Sadibro states, Lo sase mal, and al mitochas, a reference to creatures even as small as a worm. However, the Gemara brings an additional bracelet that applies the prohibition of Lo Sasun to the lower abode. The answer, Ram Gamliel had idolaters make the drawings. 
This permit does not include wearing a protruding image made by an idolater. It is prohibited because of marisayim. Stamping with it in wax is permitted. The resulting image is depressed. Reversed, one can wear it but not use it as a seal. Question. Why was Rabbi Gamliel not concerned about marisayim? His drawings were displayed on his wall. The answer, number one, being a Nasi, having people always in his house, elevated him to the status of a rabbi. Marisayim did not apply to him like the base Knesset Shav Yossi Ben Ardeo that contained the statue. Number two, his celestial images were separate pieces assembled only to interrogate witnesses. Number three, a verse concerning sorcery states Lo Silmod Lassos, but it is permitted Lahabin Laharos to learn to decide pertinent laws. If you're enjoying Daphne 5, please click on the link below. Subscribe and become a sponsor. Thank you.